Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And it's been a while, it's been a while since I've mentioned these on my channel because um, I thought I'd give them a break. I do have a heart and I do feel sorry for them, just a little smidge. But I came across this the other day and I just thought, okay, I, I need to, <laughs> I can't let this go without mentioning it, right? So this is one of my favourite channels on YouTube, it's called Truly and they produce some brilliant documentary sites, some really weird and wonderful things. I've covered them quite a few times before, different things that they've done. And, you know, I was scrolling down, I was having a look at all the um, incredible... I was going to do this one, actually, Meet the Bimbo Against Feminism. It, it just, it, I thought it might scare you off, to be honest. But um, then I came across this one down here, and I thought... Hang about, I know who that is. Family of 14. I've been pregnant for 19 years. My extraordinary family. And I thought, they look very, very familiar. In fact, <laughs> in fact, they haven't been pregnant for 19 years straight, as was um, assumed in the comments. <laughs> Help, I thought she was pregnant with the same child for 19 years. <laughs> Me too. I couldn't wait to hear that story. <laughs> some people, eh? Some people. <laughs> but that being said, it seems like this is a bit of a, a misinformation, this title, because they've not actually been pregnant for 19 years at all, because two sets of twins means that she's had she's had 12, 10 pregnancies and i'm using quick maths here 10 pregnancies for nine months apiece would be 90 months it's like less than 10 years essentially i don't know where they're even getting 19 years from anyway not really the point of the video but we're gonna go through this video because i got some points to make we have 12 children, 12 beautiful children, nine girls and three boys. Our eldest is Elizabeth, she's 18. Next is Olivia, she's 16. And then we've got our first set of twins, Isabel and Charlotte, and they're 15. Then we've got... Would that be the same Charlotte who very recently had very publicly come out and said that she had eating problems, eating, dis you know, ED EDs, and didn't want to be filmed and things like that? Did that matter when you were going to this program and they approached you and or you approached them and you said that you would put them all on camera for the world to see? Because it's in the contract, you need to show her, even though she doesn't want to be on camera anymore. And uh, she, she, yeah, she's, what can I say about that? Did you mention that? to the producers did you say that she has this issue she doesn't actually want to be filmed and we shouldn't film we should respect her wishes or did you just leave that part out because they were paying you a little bit of cash to me more but then as soon as you walk through the door yeah your hands on immediately right are you doing the dishes you? yes so you're doing the dishes juice cups you'll do the juice cups Okay, so tidy up please, and then we're going to have some, some lunch, okay? It's not difficult looking after the children, it's just everything else that you've got to try and fit in, I think, can be challenging. Well, challenging or just irresponsible or... I'm not saying that you shouldn't have that many kids, honestly. I'm not judging, but... You know, when it comes to responsibilities upon not exposing them to the world, um, you failed miserably. For the week is expensive. A week, food is probably, food alone is probably about £200 a week. So we're coming into summer and I kind of have budgeted right yeah. up till Christmas. I'm talking about how much money we've got to spend for Christmas and yeah. things like that. And he's like, we haven't even had summer yet. We struggle a little bit for space in this kitchen for food. So this is kind of the kind of junk food cupboard slash baking cupboard. So you've got like pat lunch stuff, biscuits, crackers, all that sort of stuff. All quality stuff, all quality stuff. 
my mother used to bake when I was at school and um, we we'd have like proper homemade cakes and biscuits and stuff not Mr Kipling if you will I'm not judging anybody that just buys crap but this is kind of like the snacky bits cupboard for snacks for school and stuff so we've got cereals and then there's backup cereals down there on that shelf so there's more cereal so there's normally I try and keep a box and a spare box okay I'm always cleaning always always cleaning I don't think there's ever a day when I'm not cleaning something. When we first had Lizzie, it was a bit of a shock to the system, to be honest. We, neither of us really knew what we were doing. And um, which I think it is for everybody when you first have a baby. And then obviously we had Olivia. I'm going to shock everybody here and I'm going to be nice to Zoe for a second. So if you don't want me to, if you don't want to hear me be nice to Zoe, skip on ahead. But I would like to point out that you've somehow overcome the ums and the ahs. I remember sitting through all those videos, just my brain wanting to pop out of my ears because it was so difficult to um this and uh, uh, um, 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 etc. You get them, you get the message. So, but now there doesn't seem to be any of that. Or have they done an editing job on you and actually edited it out? Something our friend Ben probably should do more often himself, I think. It became more enjoyable. And then obviously we had the twins. If you said to me back when we had Lizzie that we were going to have 12 children, I probably would have said, no, we're not. But it's just kind of happened that way. Have you ever thought about going, no, that's not, I'm not having any more children? I've never kind of got to that point where I've gone, do you know what, actually, I don't think we'll have any more. I think that part of me is broken. Each pregnancy has been a really special time for, not just for me, but for everybody. Yeah. Everybody gets involved in it and it's just been a really, really special thing to be able to bring another life into the world. And especially with like the younger ones now, you know, the older ones get to experience that they as well. Really and they excited absolutely well, they? adore the baby ones. I I guess there's always the the extra hands on deck that you have with the older ones looking after the younger ones. There's always that as a, a perk, I guess. Just, I love it so much. Everybody used to say to us, I'd love to be a fly on the wall in your house. I'd love to see what goes on mm. in your house. I'd love to see your family. And one day we kind of thought, do you know what? Why don't we share a little bit more of our yeah. family? We started with a Facebook page, didn't we? Yeah. And then uh, that led on to naturally making short videos and then it was uh, YouTube. We both said, if we're going to do it, to be completely honest, yeah. just to not dress it up, to not paint a picture of us being wealthy or anything else. The ups and downs, good and bad. When we first started attracting negative comments, I used to get really upset. Yeah. They used to, like, it's, it was like somebody personally attacking you. I think it's the modern version of, did you see her down the road? Interesting that you should recognise that it is the modern version of a gossip thing, right? Because it's also the modern version of a pedo's paradise. That's right. They frequent the internet just as they frequent the streets. Just saying, open it up to the world, why don't you? It's <sighs> interesting in the way your mind works. You get a lot of, oh, the older kids must bring up the younger ones. You get a lot of people saying that. Oh, I just said that. You know, I, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry. And that's Did not so the case at all. Somebody's put, Ben, do you ever get mistaken for the kid's granddad? Lol. <laughs> not going to lie, that did make me a lol as well. <laughs> when we get the normal ones of, you know, do, do you own a TV? Sometimes it's more than negative, sometimes it's nasty. Would you fill up your car and only pay for half of it? Stop buying so much c and you might be able to pay what you owe. All your kids look underweight, not getting enough vitamins fed rubbish. You and him, Ben, should be ashamed of yourselves. Some not too nice comments there, obviously. But, you know, in particular, the one about the kids' weight and everything, right? You know what you're doing there is you're putting your kids online and people are commenting on your kids. That is the no-go area, right? You shouldn't just say, oh, well, we'll get used to it. Your kids shouldn't have to get used to it. 
You're stupid. Stop. I don't get the mentality behind this. We'd gone out shopping and we'd gone into a shop ahead of you and this woman had actually stopped Ben and said, you need to go and get yourself a job to support those kids. She just made a she, snap she, she decision said, she said, judgment. She said, how do you expect us to, to support, support those your children? And I was like, wow, you, I just got totally, totally judged on my appearance. Yeah. Speaking of judging you for your appearance, Ben, what the hell are you wearing? Is that thing constantly welded to your body? The Sullivan's YouTube channel merch top thing, which you seem to be wear every single time you're on camera. Every single time. Not to miss a golden opportunity for advertising, isn't it? Bloody hell. This is why people think that you are using your kids for money because you're trying so hard to get the channel noticed and get more subs that's all that's important to you now yeah, and the uh, fact that and, he wasn't um, at work on a on a work day uh, do you think it's irresponsible having this many children we do provide for them we provide yeah. for their financially mentally physically well, let's talk about this for a second you provide for them mentally you're putting them on youtube you're putting them on social media what did you tell your daughter to do i'm not buying it that she said oh mum i would like to share my story with the thousands of people online right i'm not buying it what did you tell your child to do when she had an ed was it to post pictures of herself the before and after on facebook is that what you actually advised her to do when she's in the midst of a mental health crisis that is what you thought was appropriately appropriate to do and that's you providing for them mentally i'm at a loss for words i was disgusted when you did that we provide everything that they need everything yeah. that they want the majority of the time um so for us no it's not irresponsible no, for every time that negative comment gets you, I then go, well, hang on a minute. What about the What about the 150 comments yeah. I've got from other people? Go and put the stuff away, please, because we're going out, okay? I'm ready. Right. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Some people do judge us for having 12 children, but... That's their opinion, isn't it's, it? It's, yeah, their opinion. Yeah, everybody's got their own opinion and it is just an opinion. I have my opinion on the situation. I'm not going to share it with everybody because it's just an opinion. However, I can deal with facts as well. And the fact is that you're exposing your kids unduly on social media for anybody to, to gawk at, to try and do bad things to your kids, to get to them, to use images of them for whatever reason that they want to use them for and yet you don't seem to care and those are the facts because i know that you still haven't removed that video and you know which one it is so i i'm just saying that the facts speak for themselves and i bet none of this was mentioned to the people that truly perhaps we should give them a word shall we give them a call let them know the situation ask them what their opinion is on people who pimp out their children for cash and um, everything else so until next time ben zoe have a lovely day. Everybody else, please give this video a thumbs up and comment everything you want to comment down below. And subscribe if you're new because I'm here every single day with something extra special for those who deserve it. Until next time, have a lovely day. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.